good morning and welcome to MS4. And today, well, it is actually raining in Southern California. The song lied. I'm starting the Hillary uh, storm, the tropical storm. Um, it was not raining this morning at 5.30 when I took my dog out. Uh, she did not poop, so we had to have another excursion and by that time it was raining, but lightly. So, so it's raining now, it's supposed to get about 11 o'clock or so is when things are supposed to get exciting um, and we'll see but anyway it is raining currently I know my Pacific Northwest friends are really happy about uh, getting some of our weather system and rain up there because it is on fire um, so anyway done with the weather report um, this last week was just crazy um, I ordered the the new Fenty foundation um, and it sat in its Sephora box in our apartment buildings uh, office because this week was so crazy and stupid and weird and of course it's being topped off by a tropical storm so anyway i'm finally ready to do this um i have only swatched it on my hand as far as getting a little color read but otherwise uh this is first impressions um i did grab a brush but i think i'm just going to use my fingertips for this particular application uh, so anyway here we go uh, i still have not <laughs> fixed my lighting situation. Um, I tried something and it was way too bright, so it looked like I was glowing. So I want to glow, but not like I'm, you know, from The Simpsons with the, you know, nuclear is what I'm getting at. I don't want to be glowing like I'm... Okay, so we're going to try that, see how that goes. Um, I got an Iconic London blush uh, from Ipsy. Um, so we're gonna, I have a couple of blushes that I want to kind of try today. So, and of course I can't get the, okay. <laughs> it's just going that way. Um, so here we go. We're just gonna go with it. All right, no we're not. We need a mirror. We can't do this on our, we can use this one. I'm like, oh, there's mirrors in the things I'm using today. It'll be fine. I don't need an extra mirror. All right, so putting it on with my fingers. The Fenty Eavesdrop, the last video I did, uh, I kept calling the Eavesdrop the uh, Shade Drops, which is not correct. So with this, I say for blending, if you're blending with your fingers, you probably need to start sooner than later to not let it sit too long because it feels like it just doesn't okay but that's not bad um put a little on the side of my nose a little here all down my neckline Yeah, I think you definitely, because it's setting down pretty quickly. So I think if you're using this, uh, you just want to, to apply it and, and do it. Don't let it set like a concealer. Well, that's a nice finish. Good color. Good color payoff. So we'll see how it wears. Um, but anyway complete first impressions. Um, so now with other things today, the Fenty, it, I'm sure it's not very exciting to watch because I just applied it and it's done. That's it. There you go. Um, there's no real scent to it. Um, it doesn't have a ton of product, but I, I'm not sure how much that you would need to have the product. I'm not going to know that until I start working through it and um, on a regular basis, see how much I'm going through per application. Um, but that was super fast. And if you wanted something that was not liquid, um, like if you tend to have to put your, your makeup on in a car or in a garage or at your desk at work or whatever, this might be super easy and it doesn't get like foundation all over your hands. I mean, it just I could just use my fingers if I was gonna tap it um, or you could use a, a brush real quick. Um, I think I would want a more stiff brush if I were doing it, um, but this was really nice. Um, so anyway, uh, I think I'm gonna really like it. Uh, it went on really nicely. It looked pretty. I looked. 
I liked everyone's look that they were doing online, that I was watching when I could um, see it, but it wasn't me. So anyway, this is the, I'm gonna do the iconic. So I got this um, iconic trio of, of cream blushes in my Ipsy. Um, the thing with this is um, they're pretty light and a little more, they're a little more dewy on application. So if you wanted just that flush of color and a little more dewiness, they're not as dewy as say, and they kind of blend in together a little bit there. They're actually separate swatches, but that's, um, so they're a little less dewy than like the keys, you know, and, but it, they're a little less stick to itiveness than like the Danessa Myricks ones. Um, so that's just as an FYI. Um, we're really quick gonna put on some, this is a bronzer contour, the I'll bet, I'll bet, I-S-L-E, bet, uh, from ColourPop. I'm gonna do that. Uh, and then we'll go from there. If you hear that in the background, my dog's snorkeling. I don't know. She's she's grooming herself because she got wet in the rain, and I think she's like a cat now. With she's got <laughs> she's hacking up a fur ball. Anyway, par for the course. <laughs> Although no one could golf today because it's really tropical storm. <laughs> It just makes me think of uh, in Caddyshack when you've got the, the judge that's out playing on the golf course during the big storm and he ends up getting the hole in one and then gets struck by lightning. Um, so there you go, there's your movie reference for the day. I'm not saying I'm done with movie references for the day, but I'm just saying that <laughs> I can't promise anything. Okay, so there is the ColourPop, the I'll bet, just for a little color. Um, so we're gonna go in, trying to figure out with my, my color selection here. Let's just go with that mid-tone, the more pinky mid-tone. Playing it safe. So it goes on seemingly okay with the brush. Again, it's fairly light. Now I did pick up some other, and I'll, I'll have to try these on a, on a different occasion. Um, but I was in my, I happened to be in a CVS recently. <laughs> which isn't usual, uh, but anyway, enough about that. Um, so I love the the cream shop, um, the peach and argon essence. Um, I had originally got it through Ipsy and then the, the company doesn't make it anymore. Um, so I buy it off Poshmark and I'm going to be trying some of the their other essences coming up because I really like it, but they have a lot of kitschy things um, cause they do a lot of like Hello Kitty and, and some K-Beauty kind of things. Um, but when I went into CVS, they had a whole end stand and they've got makeup. Um, and the, the eyeshadow palettes didn't really look all that interesting to me. I have a, a fairly decent eyeshadow collection, so I don't really need any eyeshadow. Um, but I did pick up, I picked up some wipes. These are the Complete Cleansing Pre-Wet Towelettes in Coconut Water and Raspberry to moisturize and illuminate. So I did pick up these because I figured I'll use them. And I also picked up a little heart-shaped blush. This is in Adore You and it's just a U. Um, but it's got kind of pretty packaging and that's the color of it. So it's also in that kind of emollient cream. I don't even think you'll be able to see this. Yeah, it just has a little bit of a a sheen to it, not much color. Um, so, but anyway, I thought I'd check that out. Um, for today, they also had this, this is an eye, like an eyeshadow pot. 
Um, there's the front of it. The crème shop. Um, so this I'm gonna gonna be using. Um, and let me. So this is a very thin formula, but it's shimmery, shiny. So what I want to do, and it just it blends out. Um, and I don't know what color this is. Just cream eyeshadow. Nope, that's all, that's all cream eyeshadow. Um, so it's going to be my base today. So we're going to just apply that. And technically you could probably just use this by itself. It's a very thin, very slidey consistency. Um, and I was thinking about using this um, as a highlighter, but it, it goes on really fairly em in emollient sort of way. So I'm going to let this set for a little bit before I go in with my eye color. So we'll let that set. Oh, lights are blinking. Uh, they did warn us that, you know, it might be power outages and so forth. So um, hopefully we'll have electricity. Uh, we do have water. Uh, we charged all of our chargeable sort of things. So theoretically, um, I'm going to use the, the ColourPop Super Shock um, on my cheeks for highlighter. This is Happy Thoughts. Um, this is from the Peter Pan collection because I think you can prob probably see it's got Tinkerbell. Um, so I really like the consistency of the, the Super Shocks very nice. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna be very blingy today. That way if the power goes out you can still see my, my highlight. <laughs> We're gonna be very blingy. Okay, so hopefully my eye stuff is getting settled down. Um, also in my Ipsy uh, Il Maquillage, and this has fingerprints on it, um, I really like Il Maquillage. I got the um, Color Boss quads and individuals through Ipsy. I love the packaging. The packaging is really easy to open, even if you have hand issues. Um, it's weighty, so it feels luxe. It's shimmery, which looks beautiful, get, but gets fingerprints on it. Uh, but it's not as heavy as like a Pat McGrath, where it feels like you can't hold it up. But it is fairly weighty. Um, it is another lovely neutral palette. Um, I do like the neutrals. Um, I did not pick up the Kathleen Lights with Il Maquillage because it was a lot of neutrals. Um, but I do like this formulation. Both the matte and the shimmer shadows um, have a very creamy, like almost a fudgy powder formulation. And I know that sounds weird, but like I find with my other quads that I get a really good application through finger application. Um, even with the mattes, like if I just take it take it easy with them. Um, but I'm going to use a brush for today. Um, so we're going to go in with this right down here. And it's been really hard because I have a lot of, you know, I have the Hershey palette. I now have this palette. Um, and like the Natasha Denona, the I Need a New palette. Um, it looks interesting. Like there's some shadows that are really pretty, but there's a number of them that look almost the same that I'm afraid on the eye, they would look exactly the same. So I'm like, I'm not rushing out to, to get the I Need a New palette. Um, it's something that at some point I might pick up if it's on pretty deep discount, but I feel like I have a lot of those shades. Um, and I like the Natasha Denona formula, but it's actually not my favorite formula. So, you know, it's one of those things that And because I have a base in this, I'm, I'm more pressing than swiping with this color. Since I have a kind of a tacky, tacky base in that. Okay, 
And now I'm going to go into the next deepest. edges. Okay, and I'm going to take that same color under the eyes. Okay, and I'm going to get a smaller pencil -y brush and go in with this deepest chocolatey shade. The nice thing is with this, you can go fairly light and fairly deep, even though it's only eight, eight shadows. Okay, so now with that cream shop, I could just leave it like this. That's a really pretty, a pretty look. Um, I am going to go into the lightest shade here and do a, a inner corner. <clears throat> Excuse me. If the power holds today, I'm just going to be zooming with friends, so I don't have to worry about my level of inner corner highlight, <laughs> so we're fine. But anyway, uh, this September is going to be my last month with Ipsy, I believe. Um, I'm just getting too much makeup um, and too much extraneous things that I just would like to, to put that money towards uh, choosing what I'm getting. Okay, so that's the look out of that. Um, we could be more blingy if we just took a, a finger and applied some of these others, but I'm liking that that pinkish sort of underlying with the cream shop. Um, so let me add some mascara. Uh, so I'm, I am not going to be bringing you closer and asking you not to panic um, because I did have to have uh, an eye injection this week um, for some diabetic retinopathy. Uh, so I, I'm not going to get closer because you might panic and I wouldn't, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't want to do that to you. So anyway, we're just going to stay back. Okay, let me put on my spectacles. Ah, there you are. Okay, so um, the other thing that I got in my Ipsy was uh, the Tarte Maracuja. This is one of the, the click up kind of things, I believe, is it? Yeah, there it is, okay. I think this is in Champagne Glow, if I'm, okay. It's coming up very slowly. Okay, let's see if it has an actual Maracuja Juicy Glow. Yeah, and I think this is 
Yep, champagne glow. Okay, so I was right. <laughs> At least my memory is doing okay today. Okay, so we're just gonna apply that. It's very slippy and oh, <laughs> very light. Well, um, we're probably gonna be taking this off. It doesn't really have a scent, it's just product scent, and I think probably if it was going, you might be able to smell that because of the product. Wow. Okay. Um, yeah, I think we're not gonna we're not gonna do that. Let's see if we can use one of the wipes <laughs> that I got. Okay. So this looks like I had like I dipped my my hand in frosting, and then just smeared it all over my lips like I've been I've been at the snack table. Okay. <laughs> All right, uh, my hair's still wet from the shower. Um, so that's drying, I'm gonna take this off. All right. Okay, so um, I don't know that I'm wowed by that formula, just for the formula, I'm absolutely not gonna be wearing that color, not even as a, a topper, probably. That's really frosting, frosting colored. <laughs> Um, so we're gonna go back to the iconic London, the, the trio, and I'm gonna use this, I'm gonna just dab this on my lips, because that just... And this is very smooth, no fragrancing on this either. But it feels really nice, it's got a little slip to it. But I mean, these are the things that it's a little more emollient than I'd like on my face, but I don't mind it. And it's maybe a little less, but it's pretty slippy. And I do like that color. Okay, so I'm just happy to be able to film today and have power and to have my dog have had a chance to poop before we're in monsoon season um, and to finally uh, get down and pick up my Fenty. <laughs> um, I'm excited about this. I think this is going to be a fun different way to apply it. I think this is going to be one of those things that um, the formula feels pretty good. I think you got to be fast with it, but then I also feel like this is going to be great for giving you options where you don't have liquid, like if you need a fast application on the go, in your desk, whatever, like this is gonna be really good. Um, I got it in shade three, that's the same shade that I have in the liquid, um, and I it's, it's a pretty perfect match, so that's excellent. Um, I will tell you, I did run out of my toner um, from Tatcha, and um, I was treating this stuff on my neck, um, I had necks, neck issues, so I was using this with it because it's nice and gentle, but it does help to kind of exfoliate gently. Um, but I did also use some of the KP Bump Erase um, for some of the, because my skin loves glycolic, just loves, loves, loves. Um, so, but anyway, I uh, am out of this. This is an empty. I did repurchase this, so I just pulled out my, my replacement from Backstock. Um, I think today is the last of the Tatcha uh, I can't say that. the Fukubuchi sale. I don't know how you say it, but anyway, today's the last day um, for that uh, if you are planning on partaking. But anyway, uh, so I have one empty to share. Um, so that's it. Trying some some new makeup. Trying some of the stuff that I got from Ipsy. Trying the Fenty um, and just some some drugstore that I picked up at CVS. Uh, I feel like that's super light makeup, but but I might like the wearing potential of the eyeshadow. Uh, so anyway, we'll see about it. Hope everyone is doing well. Hope you are not on fire. Hope you are not in flood. Hope you are having a lovely day, and we'll see you in the next video. Lord willing and the creek don't rise. <laughs> we'll see you then. Bye-bye.